The fact that a tenth planet has been found in our solar system is incredible, as is the fact that NASA has formally validated the finding and released a statement. We now know this much, the enigmatic tenth planet is larger than Pluto. However, how is it that NASA was able to locate this far-off planet and how had we missed it for so long? Perhaps we should present this as Gonggong, the solar system's tenth planet, found deep within trans-Neptunian space. Hello, space enthusiasts! Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have some groundbreaking news that's sure to pique your interest. NASA has officially confirmed the discovery of the tenth planet in our solar system. That's right, folks, there's a new member in the celestial family. So, grab your telescopes and get ready for a journey through the cosmos as we delve into this extraordinary revelation. Before we dive into the details, let's rewind a bit. For years, astronomers and scientists have been on the lookout for potential undiscovered celestial bodies in our vast solar system. And today, we bring you the latest and most thrilling discovery, the tenth planet. NASA made the big reveal during a press conference just last week, confirming the existence of this mysterious celestial object. The planet, which is yet to be officially named, has been hiding in the outer reaches of our solar system, evading detection until now. So, what do we know about this newfound celestial neighbor? The tenth planet is located in the Kuiper Belt, the region of icy bodies beyond Neptune. Initial observations suggest that it's a sizable object, similar in size to some of the other dwarf planets in our solar system. To shed more light on this discovery, we had the opportunity to speak with Dr. Sarah Thompson, a lead astronomer at NASA. Let's hear what she had to say about the tenth planet. Dr. Thompson, thank you for joining us. Can you share some insights into the significance of this discovery? Dr. Thompson, absolutely. The discovery of the tenth planet is a monumental achievement. It expands our understanding of the outer regions of our solar system and provides valuable insights into its formation and evolution. We're eager to study its composition, orbit, and any potential moons it may have. Beyond the scientific community, the discovery of the tenth planet also has implications for astrology enthusiasts and the future of space exploration. How might this new addition impact our understanding of the cosmos and our place within it? As we embark on this exciting journey of discovery, we encourage you to stay tuned for updates on the tenth planet. Subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell, and join us as we unravel the mysteries of our ever-expanding universe. Until next time, keep looking up. Now, Gong Gong begins a completely new chapter in the annals of astronomy. Officially designated 207010 Gong Gong, this enigmatic dwarf planet was found on July 17, 2007, by a group of astronomers led by Meg Schwamm, Mike Brown, and Dave Rabinowitz of the California Institute of Technology. One of the solar system's truly unique objects is the Gong Gong. It is the third largest known dwarf planet, with a diameter of roughly 1,535 kilometers. Part of the strange group of trans-Neptunian dwarf planets that science still does not completely understand, Gong Gong is a weird globe. The minor planet class comprises all objects that orbit far from the Sun and Earth, with the exception of Ceres, which is situated in the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. These planets are hard to observe since they are small, frigid worlds. It makes sense since the majority of them have only been found in the past 10 years by astronomers. So yet, only Pluto has been identified. Until any minor planets were found behind Neptune, Pluto was the ninth planet in the solar system. About a dozen of these planets are now known to us, and Pluto was forced to formally renounce its status as a planet. The researchers had to decide whether to draw a line or include them all in the planetary ranks. There are officially only eight planets in our solar system. But according to space enthusiasts and amateur astronomers, Gong Gong is currently the tenth planet while Pluto is still the ninth. One of the most amazing worlds these planetoids may contain is Pluto. Prior to Pluto's visit by NASA's New Horizons probe, we believed it to be a barren, black world. But in 2015, Pluto was given a face, and the shadows were finally lifted. Since then, astonishingly, we have learned that Pluto exhibits evidence of geological activity and potentially even ice volcanism. The dwarf planet may contain water and a heated interior. 
This suggests that life, at least in its most basic form, might exist on Pluto. Pluto is not the furthest from the Sun on the orbit of Gonggong, the enigmatic world at the boundary of the solar system. Gonggong rotates incredibly slowly, a full revolution takes nearly 45 hours to complete. That is the slowest known body's orbit around the Sun. This sluggish rotation might reveal details about a dramatic past, possibly a collision with a more massive celestial body or another dwarf planet that caused it to become momentarily non-rotating. Researchers are also intrigued by the enigma surrounding Gonggong's surface. Similar to Pluto, this planet is very reddish in color, which is most likely due to tholins, which are intricate organic molecules that are created when solar radiation interacts with gases like as methane. This crimson hue is thought by scientists to be a sign of Gonggong's complex and rich chemical makeup. For a very long time, scientists believed that there might be bare rock fragments this far into space. But as time goes on, we discover that trans-Neptunian planets are dynamic, unique little worlds. It's interesting to note that Gonggong also exhibits methane and water signatures, suggesting an icy and possibly even active geological world. The freezing of water and other volatiles, along with an active layer under the ice sheet, is what causes cryovolcanism. The strong gravitational attraction of the gas giants was originally thought to be the cause of the geological activity on the frozen moons of Jupiter and Saturn. However, no massive planet could be causing this action where Gonggong and Pluto are circling around. These planets must have a mystery inside. Gonggong is surprisingly larger than Pluto. 2014 saw NASA's Kepler space probe make close observations of the minor planet 207010. 207010, one of perhaps six dwarf planets in our solar system, was for a long time the final planet without a name. The object rotates more slowly than practically any other body, and the first examination found that it is fairly black. Researchers didn't discover all the fascinating new information about the dwarf planet until much later, when they looked at it more closely. Scientists used old data from the Herschel Infrared Space Observatory and NASA's Kepler Space Telescope for their investigation. Herschel was a European space agency and NASA mission that was a part of the K2 planet search. The Astronomical Journal released the study report based on these findings. Researchers arrived at entirely fresh conclusions regarding the size estimate of Gonggong as part of the K2 project. A updated estimate of the planet's diameter based on the combination of K2 and Herschel data indicated that Gonggong is roughly 2,050 kilometers larger than Pluto and might possibly be somewhat larger. Pluto is currently twice as far away from the Sun as the 10th planet, yet its irregular orbit occasionally gets it almost as close as Neptune. Because of this, it is challenging to properly photograph and research Gonggong in the expanse of space. There have always been dozens or perhaps hundreds of minor planets in the solar system that we haven't seen, they are simply hidden from view. The enigmatic realm of dwarf planets sounds amazing. The American astronomer Clyde Tombaugh made the discovery of Pluto in 1930. Pluto was discovered while Tombaugh and his associates were searching for the enigmatic planet X at the time. It took almost a century for it to be discovered that Pluto was not alone. With a diameter of roughly 2,326 kilometers, Eris is nearly as big as Pluto and was found in 2005. Haumea, which has a diameter of around 1,632 kilometers and an elongated ellipsoidal body, joined the group of dwarf planets shortly after. Haumea rotates once per four hours, which is extraordinarily fast compared to Gonggong and likely explains its peculiar shape. Researchers are also fascinated by Haumea because of its ring and its two moons, Namaka and Hayaka. Makemake is the third biggest known dwarf planet in the Kuiper Belt, with a diameter of about 1,430 kilometers. It is well known for having a dazzling, ice surface that is abundant in ethane and methane gas. In 2007, Gonggong was added. Officially referred to as trans-Neptunian objects, these dwarf planets are intriguing worlds unto themselves. In fact, scientists think that they may hold even more important secrets about the origins and development of our solar system. From Pluto to Gonggong, every one of them has distinct characteristics and intricate workings. These little planets might provide insight into the formation and evolution of the solar system. Could Planet X be Gonggong? For a long time, there have been rumors in space suggesting that there may be a tenth planet, known to scientists as Planet X. This possible asteroid was known as Planet 9 before to Pluto, then Pluto. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic adventure. 
Remember, the universe is full of wonders, and there's always more to explore. See you in the next video? Until then, stay curious and keep reaching for the stars.